Hello, I'm Ellison, back with the news again. Last week at ViveCon, HTC announced two new headsets, the Vive Pro 2 and the Vive Focus 3. We are disappointed that HTC is not coming out with eye tracking, as this will differentiate them from other headsets coming forward, such as the headsets as the Deca Gear. But don't worry, HTC is partnering with Drulian, or Drulon, however you wish to say that. Uh, eye tracking add on comes out sometime after July. It uh, does not look like it will allow for a prescription, ins for a prescription insert. This specifically uh, annoys me as I wear prescription glasses and I do not wish to have my glasses rub against my lenses as this will cause scratching. Considering getting a Vive Pro Eye or wait for the Deki Gear to come out in mid-October. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Bitcoin price fell after Elon Musk tweeted it last week. Tesla last week suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin out of concern of over of over rapidly increased use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining. Bad news for Bitcoin miners, good news for possibly good for news for us. Why do I say this? Well, let's hope that Bitcoin miners and hoarders stop hoarding GPUs so we can buy GPUs at MSRP. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hair Touch VR Controller. Researchers based out of Taiwan's National Taiwan University and National Chengchi University are working on one of a kind kind controller that uses VR technology and fox fur to simulate the sensation of snuggling a digital feline. This to me is just virtually odd. Even the VR scout says it was strange. I know we ha want haptics, but this device does not seem to be practical right now. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Slime VR full body tracking. Their site mentions it can connect with a dongle. However, I only see it a ESP 12F service mount Wi-Fi module. Nothing on it says Bluetooth or dongle on their circuit board from what I can tell. However, that doesn't mean that their level of inside out tracking without Siebel base stations that they are demonstrating is not impressive. Despite that, I'm still betting on outside in tracking with base stations having better tracking like Tundra and HTC Vive trackers. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And the final thing I'd like to report is a new game that's coming out. Against is a rhythm game that is a cross of Pistol Whip and Beat Saber with a lot of weapon options. Will be available for PSVR and PCVR soon. In the meantime, there is a free demo on Steam you can try out. Link in the description below. This game was really fun for me to play and might be worth a video on its own. Well, this is all I have for you today. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you use the thumbs down button, please at least tell me why in the comments below. Until next time, bye bye. Got him. Nice.